Okay, this is take six of the planet Jupiter on the evening of April 14th, 15th, 2018. I have it here through a Takashi Miyama 250 telescope, 3,000 millimeter focal length. Magnification here is about 1,200 power because I have a 10 millimeter eyepiece, two and a half X Barlow, and I got my full frame camera set to APS-C crop. Looking focally into the eyepiece with a 55 millimeter f1.8 lens, and right now you've got a pretty decent view of Jupiter and its cloud belts. Uh, local time's about 2.20 in the morning, about 15 minutes away from Jupiter transiting the meridian, so it's not going to get much higher in the sky. There's a little bit of dirt in my optical setup. You can see some speck of crud on the left side of Jupiter. Rather annoying. See, that crud doesn't move, but if I slide it around, there we go. That's a clean spot. So that's Jupiter. Lovely belts. A little bit of bluish hues in that lower red cloud belt, lower red equatorial cloud belt. Current distance from Earth is four and a half astronomical units, it's about 670 million kilometers, 37 light minutes. Take your pick which units you want to use. Shooting from Los Angeles, California in my driveway on a upper 50s degree Fahrenheit evening. Yeah, that ain't looking bad right now. I must be looking out. There's a moon to the very lower right on the edge of the field. It's either Io or Ganymede. I image is inverted because the eyepiece and the afocal photography. I'm not using prime focus. I couldn't get enough magnification if I did, but that is not bad right now. Just wish I didn't have all that dust and dirt in my camera lens or wherever that is. See, there's some pieces of dirt showing up. Never had this problem before. I tried cleaning off my camera a bit because I spotted that earlier, but it didn't make much of a difference. But ignore the dirt and enjoy the view of the planet if you can. Yeah, that's not bad. I've tried several takes at this magnification. This may be, well, not now, but it was the best. Jupiter at. 750 times 1.5 magnification, 11, 1200 power. You don't normally try to look at a planet with that much magnification, but it almost works. Oh, my camera's set to 30th of a second shutter, so that's 30 frames a second ISO. It's 10,000, pretty high here. It's only off of 7S, so I can kind of handle that high ISO, all right. But uh, yeah, now it's getting a little crummy, crummy here. I think this may be my last take, because I'm getting a little worn out. And as you can see, when that moon pops bright, that means we've got really sharp seeing. But when it blurs up, the disc blurs, planet disc blurs, that moon vanishes because there's light being scattered too much. It's out of focus. So every time that little moon to the lower right gets bright, you know you got a clear picture. You got dust on the right side of view. Alright, I better shut up and call it quits here. So that's Jupiter from LA. Not bad. Alright, that's it.